for the day on this episode beep right. bombo gym we got the usual suspects over here we got taste your coffee beauty you already know what it is to the left of me and to the left of k the king the conqueror hide your bitch hide your wife Ooh. we got two That's very aggressive special guests over here with us today joining us on the slandering table to my right uh brandon visionary higgs Go cop that visionary. I forget too. Don't forget about me. You're. Ooh, was he at this? Was he at this? I'm gonna add this. It's on Atlantic That's Street. Favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Shameless plug. Hello, I'm special guest also. Hi. You can say. Oh, I can. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say something else. Um, Kellens. People call me Kells. People call me multiple things. I'm doing a lot of projects. Um, I owe maybe like two people money on this. We watching, so don't worry about it. You can get it soon. Um, also, make sure you shop with visionary. Um, that's as visionary ending with an E R I, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why have I seen visionary that before? Visionary spelled E R I. I've seen that shit before. I feel like right now, is you've, seen time before. That. you've seen it before. <laughs> 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 I'm you've seen it before. I'm thinking about just now hearing about it. I'm thinking about it right now. Wait a minute. Hold up. Breakfast Yeah, I've heard it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of music, actually, we uh, we got, we got, we got a lot of talk. You know, the decade's coming to an end. And a lot of people are talking about who the best artist of the decade is. Drake. <coughs> a lot of wow, people are saying quick. Taylor okay. Swift. That was quick. Okay. That Taylor Swift. And I'll just shut up Taylor and be quiet. Swift. She's had a right. good-ass decade. Okay, Taylor Swift. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. We, you, you know, we got, uh, of, the, of the decade, we Drake. got... <laughs> just let, just let him go. Can you please let him go on his tangent about Drake? A lot of people say, yeah, say Kanye, why. too. Just let him go on his tangent about Drake, please. Why Drake? So he can I, shut up. I don't really need to go. Well, Kanye came from the 2000s, I early 2000s. I don't, I don't, hear uh, Taylor I don't need Swift, to go on, to go on a tangent. I could say Drake, and y'all already know who that man is, all right? Okay, That's Drake. Right. You yeah. name Drake. You were going to say, people are going to fucking know who it is. That's false. You Kendrick Lamar. All right, but. Taylor Swift. Okay. Adele. Right. Adele, Adele, Kanye kinda, West, yeah, but our niggas Frank agreeing Ocean. with those. With a lot of those, Taylor um, Swift has West, had a great Kanye decade. West, uh, Yo, I'm not. Hold on, y'all have, have the argument though. phase going on. I didn't know we started arguing with anything. Y'all just no, started we're not saying arguing. names. We're, not arguing. we're, we're not discussing. Arguing. You guys just looked we're very. We're discussing not, already. Not, not, he West. doesn't like Drake. He doesn't <laughs> like Drake. I currently do not like Drake anymore. What happened? You owe you money? But no, Drake fucked your bitch. What happened? What's going on? Yeah, all right. Yo, you know who? you know who used to make me that mad though? Justin Bieber. J- Justin Bieber, Bieber is another nigga. He had, he had like a good well five had, years. Had he had like a good five Sheesh, years, but about all that. but that that's all in the past. At the end of the day, yeah. who do you guys think is candidate for like Drake. the twenties? <laughs> it's still <laughs> He's Drake. Be another t- no, it's still Drake. The baby, the baby, baby's interesting. Oh, yeah. He, uh, I, I, I personally think like he, you know, he's starting to sound a little bit too similar to like all his music. Hopefully, he brings something he new sounds, to the table. His, his, after his this pro- I think he's a producer. Yeah, of course. It's, it's, all the songs sound like the beat tempo and everything sounds the same. Most artists start off. Do not waste the beat, though. So this beat is tough. Beat. This is tough. Yeah, he can rap, tough. for sure. He could definitely rap. Most mainstream artists do start off that way. Like, they usually have, like, their main producers that they just rock with completely, and then they trust them, they make their hits, probably first two albums, and then they move on to something else. And then, you know what happened with Future? Happened with Uzi. Thank you. Uh, happened with Uzi. Okay. Happened with That'd Big Sean. Definitely happens with Drake. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Drake probably still. still I mean, Drake. Drake yeah. still got 40. 40 is like his main. His yeah, main, yeah, main. Yeah. But main but man. the difference is though Drake because Drake is different. Like he'll get all his music from other people, email and all that shit, and then 40 will just come in and hit like a couple buttons on the iPad and then <laughs> send it back. So I mean, <laughs> buttons on the iPad. <laughs> That's all it takes for Drake to throw in a '90s sample and then call mm-hmm. it a day. Uh, this sample game is crazy sample. though. Yo, actually, speaking of '90s sample, I think Tory's up there too. 
Tory Lanez. As far as oh, Tory yes. Lanez for, for 2020. Oh, yes. There you go. You got him started. Speak that gospel. Uh, for, for the 2020 decade. Oh, I think, for I sure, think. for sure, for sure. Body of work well, is... Tell me why you think Tory Lanez is up it's there. It's not Tory. Well, the Stop last, it. I, I say he's up there. I didn't say it's definitely oh, him. I think he's up there. For the person, it might be the baby Rapper or Drake. Rapper R&B, though. But... Both. Any pop? Both. Both. You bring pop Toy in there? Is it both? I want to see <laughs> Tori pop do pop come out Nigga, with his, his own project yeah, that I doesn't think have his Somebody samples. else's sample on it. Yeah, like that, that's that's my thing about Drake, so it's stop they, it. Kanye did it. Yeah, but, but it's, his, his, whole cal- his whole catalog is samples, samples of Listen to whoever. Me now. What okay, if, yeah. Uh, that, uh, what if that could be Tori's wave now, just realizing, like, okay, like, my thing is taking a piece of the old, making it my own. He's not Jacquees, nigga. That's First of all, Jack, don't say that nigga's name in here, please. I don't fuck with that nigga. Please, there's there's three people in this world that if they ask me for a fair one right now, I do Jack it anytime. Please, I play. Jack Weiss, <laughs> Jack Weiss Paul you. Pierce, Paul Pierce might as well fuck him up. Yo, Paul Pierce, what are you doing? Paul he, Pierce, he, he, he fucked up the Brooklyn Nets for me. Paul Pierce <laughs> and, and the um the general manager of the Toronto Raptors. I still want to see if you watching, Masai Ujiri. If you watching this. Is on site. <laughs> you I know you bitch. Giannis. I signed that extension too. Is on site. Well, anyway, right, yeah. okay. well, why don't you like Paul Pierce? Yo? Fuck Paul Pierce. <laughs> Thank Nigga you. said he better than D Wade. Nigga need a second dick. Nah. Like so, what more do nah, I need to say D-Wade. past that? Mm. I know we 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 went off different topics and stuff like that. We gonna bring it back, but f- f- fuck all that. All right, <laughs> those three niggas can see me. But Jack Jack Weiss, he's not up there. He he won't fuck be. That nigga. He fucked up by naming this album. Uh, King, King R and B. Did anybody he hear, hear fuck it? Up, no. It's no, fucking garbage. I don't want to hear. There's it. only two yeah. songs on there that have replay play value. From Tory my Lanez perspective. is on one. Exactly. Yeah. You said what? Tory Lanez is on one. Come on now. It's fucking. You Tory. said what? Tory Lanez is on a song that I oh, consider. I thought, I thought he said he had one song on his t- yeah. his album. Tory is yes, yes, his whole album is fire. And you know what's sad? He said that after he was he was told by like two people to make because I saw an interview. He was told by two people to make the song to make the album called. Uh, King of R&B. He's like, oh, oh, maybe. I don't know if I should do that. Somebody else said it. He's like, oh, okay, I'm going to do that. And then now he did it. He t- uh, He said he changed the whole album. He took some songs out, added some new songs. Bitch, you should add some more songs because that <laughs> shit did not feel completed. And it just wasn't It wasn't good. And he also fucked up because Tory dropped his project the, the same, same week. Yeah, Tory, Yo, you know. that's not your friend. <laughs> 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 Nobody says I that's mean, not your friend. It's the music industry. Yeah, like, I mean, it's supposed to be competitive. Yeah, like, definitely. You know Especially when you're fucking And sometimes, one of those and sometimes a lot of artists don't really have... Sometimes a lot of artists don't really have their their own, like, uh, choice on when they have a release date. Because a lot of times, like, the, uh, the publisher is like, yeah, we got to get this out. I mean, not these days. These days, it's all about... It's more either label if they're signed and how much... The label has involved in it, and it's the artist. The artist could pick and choose, depending mm-hmm. on like I'm sure Tory can choose mm-hmm. his date. He just said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna put it this day," or he could have made it, it the next fucking day. But this is more self-proclaimed that he was the uh, king of R&B. That's why, and then I think Tory didn't say nothing, so he just he, just, he said, "I'm gonna let my my album speak for itself." Who's my top artist? Okay. Oh my fault, yo VJ, you should have a ref shirt. How many? I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whistle, I'm coaching, yeah. Where did, where did yeah, I mean, like, okay, Phil Jackson, that, Phil Jackson got the triangle offense. Hey, Scotty, <laughs> <laughs> pass it to Brandon. <laughs> so but yeah, so well, what about you? What do you think the best artist of the best? The 20s could, is my be? top, uh, the, 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 you know, the early two thousands. I'm gonna go with like, for me, I, Cole got me through a lot. So I'm gonna go with you Cole. You think Cole is gonna be the artist of the twenties? Well, not the twenties. I fight the tens. The tens. I will go with Cole. Kendrick, so, silent claps. Solid. Obviously Drake, honestly, because Drake. Listen, whole body of Kendrick work. had a solid year. Start, started off with like that surprise like hit, like <coughs> Section 80. Because uh, everybody f- slept on Section 80. Classic. Who's everybody? Everybody classic. slept on Section Stop 80. That. When I it first came out, everybody slept on Section yeah, 80. For sure. For, I think people are still sleeping on to Pippa Butterfly. Oh. I feel Whoever like that was, sleeping I feel on Pippa like does not listen to That music. album was needed at that time and frame. I feel like it was definitely needed because everybody's making that bullshit ass music. And he that that yeah that would have to be one of the best. But uh, it does show, I don't mean to cut you off, but it does show that album and also uh, Magna Carta. I, I know we're not talking, that, but those two yeah. albums to me, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. those two albums yeah. to me showed me yeah. about. I'm a, but here's here's what I'm gonna tell. I'm a, so <laughs> that's two different perspectives, right? Those two albums showed me that as an individual, whether you're ready or not to to hear it. So, to, for me, when Pimp to Pimp a Butterfly came out, I wasn't ready to hear it. Yeah, I mean, that's true. So I wasn't worried about it. 
Yeah, but same thing with Magna Carta. I wasn't ready to hear it when it came out. It was a new sound. Yo, new sound. yo, Jay, Jay was saying some shit in there. I it was, was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Those are examples. All right, ref. You know what? I think uh, to 2020. I don't know. I think um, what am I saying? The baby. Um, yeah, we got. Yeah, yeah. You did say the baby earlier. You know, we'll see. Sure. Like I said, I, 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 I think. Me. As long as he brings something new to the table. I don't want him to sound the same. Hey. A lot of things that he's been... A lot of Kirk sounded the same. You know? And, uh... What? Okay. I, feel like he's gonna, I hope he doesn't box himself, man. A lot of artists do that. Yeah. They don't break out of that mold of, uh... The producer, you know, creating that same sound. So, I hope he just breaks out of that. I mean, I'm sure he will. I think everybody has growth within their career. I just hope yeah. he does. So. Oh, he's about to I feel get like that, that whole, like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. For don't sure. really work. When yeah. it comes to rap, like you gotta kind of innovate nowadays, yeah. just because there's like a an inflation of so many different artists that you can't really uh, can't really just keep sounding the same yeah, all sure. the time, you for know. Sure. That's how niggas feel about J Cole, though. So it's like, really? I don't. Yeah, I agree. Ask, ask. I agree. Like a girl's top five rappers or some shit, and like you know R and B artists or whatever, like you know. And she won't even think to name Not J. Cole. Sure. I wouldn't name J. Cole you know either. Unless she's a real really? rap head. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting to that. I'm getting to that. Whoa. I'm airing it out. Yeah, I'm airing exactly. it out. I, I do not think J. Cole... All right, Deserves no disrespect, because he can rap miles around me. Because, you know, I'm not a rapper. Yeah, whatever you're about to say, don't <laughs> say. Yeah, At word. the end of the day, word. I don't think he he should be like compared to like like rappers like Kendrick. Well, it was fun, guys. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, yeah. uh, it was a and, uh, that's Follow me on I'm Kels underscore official Instagram. Hey, hey, are you kidding me? They, they, I'd compare to somebody like Logic. Really, nigga? Oh, to oh, oh, yo, hold on, hold on. oh no. He said Logic. <laughs> <laughs> they're yeah. not in the same category, bro. Bobby Listen, I, just, I, think, I think they're in the same vein. Like I just, I just don't... Got, uh, Shuck, I don't shuck 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 shuck. <laughs> I don't. I, I just. I, he just sounds the same to me. You know, all it is like, and you know, it's it's, because they're I feel both like black and white. You racist. <laughs> fuck. Wow. It has nothing to do. It has nothing to do with the was. color of their skin. At the end the of the day, I just the think same. that a lot of the things that uh, Cole raps about are the same things. Can I host oh, the show now? Man. Oh, can I host the show now? I was weird by it. Just mic in his headset. He's comparing the neighbors think I'm selling dope to I'm playing Mario Kart in my crib. <laughs> Rapping like so. So who do you who do you think? Who do I think will be the artist of the 2020s and the 2010s? The tw- oh the, the artist, 2010s. Yeah. I th- I think it's definitely Drake. Okay. Drake owned the 2010s, and there's no way you can tell. He was released music every single year except for what was it 2017 where he took a hiatus. After uh after more, more life, life yeah. he took a hiatus. After more life was twenty twenty eighteen. He didn't, miss, 2018, yeah. he didn't uh, release anything. It's, it's, it's no, twenty eighteen he dropped Scorpion. Um, Scorpion yeah. So oh, so it was twenty seventeen. So twenty sixteen. He took a he took a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Word. so you know he took that year off, but every you'd hear about Drake and a hit song that he has every week, every week, oh, yeah. every month clout without fail. Chaser. There was. I, there's Jeez. a difference between being a clout chaser. All right, a people clout chaser. Like, accuse him a lot of being like a culture vulture. He is a culture vulture. He, I think he he dibbles and dabbles. My nigga a lot. wants to be. He does what's hot. And it's then crazy because they only be say Cali. that they only Florida. say that because. He wants to be from- yeah, yeah. They only say he's a culture work, vulture. He went from Toronto. It, it, he went from Boston. He makes it work. And bitches want to hear it. Puerto Rico. And bitches want to hear it. It's not about wanting to be. It's about just, just it's spreading. Like the, I think he's doing a good job using his platform to spread like how many different sounds there really are out there. Because really think that. about it. Really think about oh, it. Like about bigger have, than him though. Huh? Bigger than him. It doesn't. Ma- it doesn't have to be bigger than. No. It's collaboration. <laughs> yeah. uh, they only give him so much. Black about it because he's so big. And it's like, whoa, he has to talk. He That's has to make cap. music with other people to stay relevant. Well, I mean, it's collaboration. That's what it is. At the end of the day, you have to see different perspectives and and see different things in order to be able to evolve your own creativity. But he hops on because hit songs. I don't. The, the songs are already hits, and then he's like, he, ah, well, let me get on yeah, that. And then he playing but like he makes it. Playing games by Summer Walker came out. He. That shit was a hit already. That shit was bound to be a hit. Every bitch was listening to that song. Okay. That nigga DM'd her. Was like, yo, let me hop on that. You gotta see because that it's already a hit. <laughs> right, but, you you wouldn't say, all right, but it's not. It's not about all right. So what if he was just like, hey, let me hop on that so I could show people this sound. When Fetty Wap came out, 
My way. That shit was a hit. That shit played every single day on the radio, every fucking Why five minutes. Why are you minutes. on it, though? Hold you on, though. Hold on, though. No. That nigga hopped on you that know, shit. F- with, with Fetty, Fetty was shopping his, his music around for a very long time. I know. That's that's an old fact Drake Fetty. gets people off the ground. Ex- so, no, I agree with that. Yeah. Except for his own artist. But I- <laughs> he, he just <laughs> lets them play in the weekend. <laughs> he, 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 <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> he just released an album. He just has a, de- he has a deal with his The weekend is not his artist. Because, the weekend bounce. Wait, 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 the weekend bounce. The weekend is weekend is artist. is the creative director at Mercedes. I like some of the weekend songs. What the fuck he know about cars? Shut up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Shut I know up. you tried Shut it. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> you tried it. <laughs> but it was, it was bad. It was I, I don't I don't agree with you that Drake is a culture vulture, but I don't think it's that like eclectic he's thinking about it. I think the nigga's like, yo, this shit fire. Let me hop on. He Jamaican? And he does it. Yeah. A lot of times. No, but here's the thing. You don't got to be Jamaican to make a fire ass uh, uh, reggae song. You don't have to. Yeah, he, I know. If you, but if, hold on, no. He, he, he if you respect it, right, but hold on, no. If you respect like it enough Jamaican. and the OGs, they respect you enough to allow it. Like, just, like his niggas like us who are con- going to complain bro. about it, but they're... If he has a clearance, the OGs, it's cool, right? ex- Exactly. Okay. Just like the people um. from Houston. It, my fault, my fault. Just like the people from Houston and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they, they like, let him do it. That nigga finds something popping and he just hop his ass over. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. And, and I think, and I think he if if, <laughs> and 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 just to pull you know a lyric from Paris Martin music too, we'll see who he'll be around another decade from now, yo. That's uh, real. Uh, yeah, it's true though. I, I so, think so I think he might, I think he might pull a might pull a rabbit hit, hat like and just That's I mean nice. um, okay. a hat trick and he might just pull a rabbit out of a hat. You know what I mean? I think he'll he'll might he might take over the twenties. How old is Drake? 30, Drake's 30, 30 or something. He got a couple 32. more years left in him, and then I think exactly. he'll he'll, yeah, yeah. he'll be done with it. Imagine him being 40. He already did the same shit he's doing now. No, not He already did the If it acting, sounds though, good, so. because it sounds good, it obviously sounds good. If people are still, dick right if people are still, real. all right, whatever. <laughs> I gave my opinion. I think he'll go on to dominate. I think, I think I he'll go on to dominate. I need him on some compa. What do you think, eh? Uh, y'all know my answer. Drake and Drake. Drake That's and Drake. Drake. Yeah. <laughs> Drake, 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 Drake and Josh. Yeah. Yeah. Drake and Drake. We all agree on that, yo. <laughs> you know? But I think close yeah. second will be Spanish Kendrick too. Be. Kendrick, Kendrick's out he's here. Soon, huh? He got. He got. He oh, should he's be dropping plotting. something. Yeah, yeah. He's plotting. He's plotting. I think. I think the 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 sleeper hit. Well, not a sleeper hit because it's Kendrick. But I think. I think he'll give him a run for his money. He always does. Though. He'll give Drake a run. Kendrick always gives him. So my my artist of the 2010s. I got a couple. Kendrick is for sure one of them. He has. Not one bad album that came out. Ooh. Kendrick. Yeah, nice. you're right. Right? Drake has bad albums, by the way. Name. Um, Scorpion wasn't it. Views. Ooh. Enlighten me, Adonis. Enlighten me. <sighs> All right, so that we're really going to go. Views wasn't bad. Views, has, Views wasn't bad. But it has hits. Scorpion was bad. Scorpion nah, fucking Scorpion. Scorpion, Scorpion, I, Scorpion, Scorpion was bad. Scorpion wasn't bad. It was just, it was just diluted. Scorpion was bad. I it was super was diluted. Like it just had, super it diluted had like means extra just 30 fu- minutes <laughs> right, so look at it like this, right? that wasn't necessary. All right, so enlighten me on this. So right, look, at, look at it from my perspective, right? <laughs> so you have 18 songs on an album, right? Uh-huh. But only four of them are fire. You shot four for eighteen from the field, fam. That's for you, though. That shit. No, 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 no. That's like twenty percent. Yeah, and then he had the nerve to disrespect Mike. Don't do that. Who? Michael Jackson. Don't matter. Yeah, I don't think that shit is fucking garbage, and he. I will forever hate that nigga now. Should have left that alone. It's not his fault. He did shit for clout. He did it. He did it for clout. He did it for clout. Just really like the sample. They do anything for clout. He might have just really like the sample, yo. They do anything. Why is it? I mean, what's what's clout about making a song with a Michael feature? That's very hard to get. But it was trash. It was, I'm not. I'm not saying that's that, but that's not a cloud Yo, thing. I, and he, and, and you know, it's crazy. It's a sample, but yet that nigga put featuring Michael Jackson like that nigga was on the song. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, he, he technically to was. To give the credit, that could have been a deal. That could have been a deal. Yeah, you know how hard it's getting clearance for a Michael Jackson sample right now. But that's those are vocals that nobody else has. A boogie got it. Can't be that hard. So it technically can't be that hard. No, a boogie said. Hold on one second. A boogie said it. He said, "Yo, I can't make a video." With anything hey. involving that that song in it, I can't. Uh, back. That shit I got, I I got literally like what I got, <laughs> and I had to make it work. What, what are you talking about? Uh, uh, back at it. it. Yeah. She ain't uh, never did this before, but she good at it. Oh, back at it. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah bro. Like that. Oh, oh, Kendrick, got, Frank Ocean. Frank Ocean, Frank definitely. Ocean. For 2010s. Oh, man. I Listen, think that about Frank Ocean. That nigga dropped three classes. Let him finish. He's still a little too inconsistent. But his body of work is fire. He got some great body of work. 
I don't think it's, it's, it's look. He'll drop something. He don't like society. I don't blame that until 2016, bro. What's the? That's a crazy gap. You got, Listen, he, he did it on purpose. purpose. He don't fuck with society. He, he, he I mean, I understand purpose. that, but you're an artist at this point. You can't yeah, just shut absolutely. yourself up. I think I think he's re, he's reinventing what being an artist means. Just because you're an artist doesn't mean you have to be in the public eye. I don't think okay, he's okay, that's that okay. Rihanna okay. shit. Yeah, I don't think he's <laughs> reinventing <laughs> it because he didn't really do anything. He just really played yeah, himself out. I think business wide business wise he did it. Smart move. He, yeah, he got himself out of that deal, which was clutch yeah. as fuck. I'll tell you but what. He finessed that. He really it changed. created a rabid, rabid, like, foam out the mouth fan base. Yeah. yeah. The, because of what they it's did to Drake at Flog Dog. Bro, the yeah. fact that everybody was like, oh, you know. But Drake top tier. Either he that nigga, <laughs> bro, right? It's a different bro. fan base. Boo that yeah, nigga was, for Frank. I, I didn't take that no time, yeah. but it was like. He's at, he thought he could call yeah. anywhere and get love. How is it a different <laughs> fan base? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Yo, one more. Y'all can get some. Just let me know. I wouldn't expect a Daryl Merritt. To sit there and listen to a Drake, off of like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I expect a Daryl Merritt to boo a Drake off of stage yeah. versus like a nigga that listens we to Tyler Frank. Heavy. Like, we you won see Frank. what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta think about it. it's that special guest. They're, they're not I thinking mean, I guess, Drake. Exactly. I guess I'm an outlier because I fuck with them both heavy. Like, yeah. like you if, follow if Frank I, if, more. I mean, listen, let's not talk about Don't cap on the app. Listen, at 2016, my top 15 Damn, songs on Apple Music were literally charts. blonde. It was literally all blonde yeah. on 2016. Like, because they released the, uh, I don't know if you guys have Apple Music. Yes, I know. They released Sorry, the, uh, the, the, the your top most listened to songs oh, of like shit. the past four years yeah. or whatever you've had. And uh, 2016, literally top 15, it was uh, all I'm, I'm going to let you finish, but I want to, you know, finish this. You know, because I said Frank and then you went sick. All right. <laughs> My last artist of the 2020s, I mean 2010s, is definitely Breezy. Niggas gonna stop disrespecting Chris Brown. Okay. All right. Niggas I mean, gotta stop. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I wouldn't say 20. You said it, inconsistencies. He dropped 40 songs on an album. On an album. And then 60 before that. Of, then 60 before a that. Lot of, a lot of mid stuff in there. Yeah. Yeah. No, you got. Here, here's what you do. Here's yeah, what you yeah, do. Yeah. You gotta split it up. You gotta split it up. That's that's how you do it. I, I did it. I thought that same way. I sp- I played like twenty songs. Then I played the Sweet rest album. on a, on another day. Literally, yeah, because you get day. tired. It's yeah, like it's two like different albums. Album, basically. It's two different albums. Like that's how right, I looked so, at it. And it was Drake fire. does a two part album. Y'all no, but his was bad it. and it wasn't as much music. Drake had eighteen <laughs> songs. Yeah, forty. Yeah. That's a lot. Yo, of, he dropped forty. This previous one, the one before that, he dropped sixty. Then yeah. dropped like another before eight just for the fuck of it for the holidays. Before he dropped that forty, what did he drop? Did he like wait two years to drop something or something like? Think so. Was he, okay. no. was he Hold on, let me educate you. He dropped okay. Heartbreak on a Full Moon, okay. which uh-huh. is 60 songs. That track is then hard. he dropped 16? And 60, 6 0. You playing a dangerous game dropping a lot of Yeah, because that's a lot of hit and miss songs. Exactly. A, a lot of those Brown. were in so the vault. You're just saying, based off of like how many songs you drop, if Drake just drops a whole bunch of fucking. If he drops 60 songs, how many hitting? I don't Drake? know. Probably more than half. More no than cap. half? No cap. So no what, cap, so, I think, I think so what happened on Scorpion? 60, 60%. He'll probably so get a 30 So what happened on Scorpion? Mm, nope. I think, he'll go, so? I, I think he'll go positive. All right. right. For a different... Okay. Like, you know, yeah, definitely whatever. 60%. Okay. <laughs> then nigga be just capping and biting everybody. You just everybody. don't like Drake. <laughs> he be biting on niggas, you know? He be slobbering niggas' knobs to get in the club. I'm not as but my upset 2020 as him. But my 2020 predictions, bro, I think Toy is going to take over. I, I don't I, agree with that. I fuck with Tory. He's too heavy. He's a better rapper than Drake, and he sings better than Drake. <laughs> mm. Yep. Uh-huh. Add to me. <laughs> Tell him 6'9". <laughs> Stupid. Nah. He's a better rapper? 